Hey folks, welcome back to Ostrov. I'm contemplating the new tavern. I was asked a question after last episode that I had to admit I've never actually thought about before. I, I just assumed that you can't move the logs out of the forestry. And I was asked, hey, did, did you try to just cart them over? Nah, nah, no logs there. Sorry, just bark wood and firewood. Otherwise, we could have moved these logs over to one of the other ones and then cleared this out. But, nope, we're, I'm not going to destroy them, so we're just going to be making firewood for a long time. Um, as I showed last time, I want to put the tavern in here, parallel with the, the roadway here. This is in the way. What I think I'm going to do is take the gist of this and transfer it to here. All these episodes, nobody has made a comment about the campfire. About, oh, I'm glad you saved it or, or anything like that. So I'm going to take that as a sign of general disinterest and say, it's gone. All right, so let's take all of you guys out. I'll put you back in later if needed. I don't like that they're using this as a path. So, and really right now I'm just kind of taking my time to get to, uh, to August for the... Uh, Actually, to July, we'll make sure that the orchards aren't ready. I'm pretty sure they're not. <clears throat> I'm working. I'm working. Um, so let's put a fence in here just to give us a sense of where this road is. I think it goes to probably the corner of there as a general pathway to get in. I mean, if you look at it really from this corner here, it really kind of clips into that that house there that's the general direction of, of the road so the cow sheds not in the best of places so a road comes over and then moves okay so if that were the case it's then like there and there but I think I'm gonna go with that as a direction I think so which means we come back like so and just drop this guy somewhere in here just to give me a sense of where this road, let's see this from another angle, coming in like so, wish I could go down lower, wish I could get down to, uh, you know, to ground level first person, turn the corner, it does come back a little bit further, wasn't sure about that, um, demolish you, can I grab another one of those just by doing that? I can, oh I love that tool, yeah you look a little more like right in there. Oh, I short-circuited their pathway. Look at that. I didn't know I could do that in real time. I thought they would walk right through it. That looks off from here. From here, it's tight. But I think it's right because of this building tightens everything. So I think the pathway is a little tighter right here. Anyway, right in here is where I wanted it. I'm going to uh, demolish you you and you and I think for now we're gonna have to demolish these guys at least that one and reapply this by whatever that really means later now I've never gotten the sense that these folks walk any faster on the cobblestone so it doesn't act as a beneficial road like in banish to speed things up by putting in stone roads it's it's just a decoration at this point so, birdhouses, you guys can go, be another obstacle. The trees will be cut if they need to be, and the stone well. Let's think about the stone well. It was a, a good idea to be out here somewhere, but let's put it in afterward, just in case that is a thing. Okay, so you moved to the front. I didn't actually mean to do that, but... Yeah, they'll get it done real quick. Okay, so Stonewell most likely has to leave. In fact, if you guys are going to be over here anyway, I'll just put that in. What are you? So you go there. You are a forestry to be taken down. Oh, you are still here. I thought you were already gone. Okay. Um, yeah, I thought we had taken that down. because No, I know. because I, I, I always do a little bit of work in between episodes. 
because there's there's a lot of piddly little stuff to do going through and checking settings on all the buildings and balancing things out and and the thatchery i think would look good right there so give us a pathway up i might take one of these fences out so these folks who live here can just go right up into the market rather than make them you know go around the block or something so but for now that thatchery right there grabs the supplies and we can still send thatch to other places around the map there's 2,000 built up in here again so we've caught up with thatch that was a momentary crisis but it's it's over how are we doing in the thatchery itself plenty okay um you guys done while i've been rattling off here no you're you're working but everybody is going to going to going to and going to so once i switched them over they all had to go home and and complain that i had ruined their day and then they went back to work <laughs> this is a little why but i was going to put in trees here i remember that now let's think about that We've got these kind of trees here. The cottonwoods, I think they're called. Cottonwoods. Do I want to reserve that for just around... I've got them right here, too. The... Actually, the ones I put in here. The birch? What are they calling these things? Aspen? Uh, birch, right there. Is there an aspen? No, sometimes they look kind of so kind of similar. Um, that might look pretty good on both sides, all the way up. I put some in over here on both sides, and they were that one too. Okay, so this approach coming into town, the the birch trees, I kind of like that, and they'll create kind of a covered canopy almost when it's all done as they get bigger they'll kind of grow over and give you a tunnel effect okay <clears throat> pavements down good um but i've been meaning to put trees up here for quite some time and i think it's time we just do it so hold the shift down what the proper spacing is i don't know let's go a little bit further apart well so much for that. Okay, that's interesting. And there. So that pattern then is... Now well, it's about there and there. I don't know what happens after this. Okay. So do I then drop one in there? I don't know. But let's put one here and here. And then on this side... Well, at least in there. I guess we'll just kind of randomize these. A little further up there. And there. And this building is in, so I guess we can go ahead and drop two of them in there. This may most likely will be a road going off to the side. Okay, well, we'll stop there. And it's already built, you know, filling up the building queue. So you're working on this one now. And again, I'm running slow, just letting it take its time while I'm thinking about things. Um, I have a problem down here. It means somebody left their job. Okay. We have no logs or anything in here. Okay. Um, this probably is not going to be very viable yet until I get a couple more houses in. And it'll especially be viable when the fishing huts are off. I think so. Let's just shut you down for, for now. We'll figure you out later once things start to stabilize a little bit. I don't want to deal with that just yet. Over here, we've still got five up and running. We've got two ladies here in anticipation. Now, why did I do that? Let me think that one through. It was set to just one. I set it for two. Oh, I remember, and you guys correct me if I'm wrong. There was a time, I know in Alpha 1, I read about it. But I haven't been keeping up with the game all these years in between. 
Do the farm workers, when they have nothing to do, go and work on the hay? Is that a thing? Or was it the cowshed worker that works on hay? She is going to work. I thought there was somebody besides laborers that would walk over and start working on the hay dryers. Hmm. I don't know. Nobody's been working on our hay dryers, and I'm getting a little concerned about that. But um, we still have a lot of hay. We really do. You have got 500 in storage, and there's still 2,000 back over here. There's 500 and 500 over here. Um, I had kicked the wages up on these to see if it would help, and then gave it to all of the, the different hay dryers. 120% if we were to play with 150 and apply to all then we'll see if anybody gives up other jobs to go and do that for the summer um, we are cleared and ready to ready to move things in over here let's play with the tavern again spin you around parallel to that is the idea um, is it correct? I'm going to take down one tree. And I think the idea was to be able to get just a little bit further in like this. Rather than be crowded in so tight over there. So just one tree's worth. Wish I could tell if that fence is where I like it. I think it is. In which case this rotates a little bit more. And that looks like what? So, it would be something like that, and then over, probably like so. A uh, child has been born, good. I think I like that. It gives us a road about the same width as that right there. And room to do something else in the yard over there. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that. You're going to go there. I'm not going to build you for a while. We have to get 200 citizens before it will work, right? We'll settle in town in towns with over 200 population. And with alcohol available. We don't have that either. We could buy it in if we needed to, but we don't have the industry yet. But it's been placed. And eventually that tree will come down. That's not a critical thing either. And the other flowers will... Oh, well... In fact, is there a way to just make you go away? I can always drop a bench on there. <laughs> Park bench to the rescue. All right, we'll just leave that alone for now. Okay, so that's figured out. I don't know what to do with the fencing just yet. Right now I'm just going to stop them from, from cutting away all my turf. And we'll pick another pathway of some kind and run another stone path into that area somehow we'll wait till it starts to build what is next though uh forestry is a definite i don't see any reason to keep it we could have marked with x's to get these guys to do some work they still we had these x's through here for at least 15 episodes straight and they never came over to work on those X's. They were still coming back there and cutting trees out of the forest, even though there were X's over here to be taken down. So this was more convenient than to clear this pathway through the woods over here. So I don't see using this to take down trees over there by putting X's on it as long as they were less than their 18 trees. So, I think I'm, I'm done fighting that one. So, he's coming down next once this house goes in. And we are June. Let's, let's put the other one in as well and just be done with this area. And we'll concentrate entirely over here. But that's, that's fine. Okay, so, June. Anything else I need to think about before this failed harvest happens? <laughs> um... You guys are looking for laborers. These two are in the queue. And this one's looking for laborers. So there is a hidden queue in the background. And some of them have qualified and some have not. 
So that is a thing. Which, now we are 150% of wages. We did get one going. So if I were to, you are doing what? Supplying resources to the fishing dock. So you are you are taking fish to go to a let's see, and you are grabbing more of the reeds. Fish to a a, a market or something. Okay, so that's not a thing. So none of you are here specifically to work on these. Okay, so let's say make empty and see if this triggers anybody. Maybe there's a little more weight toward filling it than emptying it because there is no dire need for hay right now. Yeah, we'll play with that idea. You could definitely be empty too. Make empty. We've still got all of July for them to be playing with that. Um, how are you guys doing? We're at 30 and we're at 90. So the flower is getting moved out. It's only 160 in here. Um, you have been sitting here for a while. You've got zero days left. Pause. Anything else we can do with you? So, you bought 800 of our potatoes and 600 of our flour. This is Barvinkove. And that was about it. We don't need to buy sheep skins. Though I have been noticing something while I was editing. These numbers still are not lining up. Or are they? We're off by 30 now. Is this still 30 somewhere else? Or is it not, not a one-for-one? One? Uh, that came from here. There's still 30 here. Okay, it is a one-for-one. One. So we are still in good shape there. Um, here. Okay. We still have two ladies working. And we're still... No textile for clothes, yes. But you are making winter warm clothes. You're going to work. You're taking a rest. You're just getting to work. And am I going to see like 30 pop into there? There it is, 10. So she is immediately working. All right. Um, this, we have one guy left. We have no batches going on. But man, I don't want to take out Matsko. He's, he's, he works so hard to get that job. I'm out of pity, I'm just going to leave him in there. Though we don't need, uh, don't need Blahomir? Bla Blahomer. I'll go with that. Um... Yeah, you you need to go away. Sorry. And you guys, we're still good here. I went ahead and changed this to have just one person in here during the harvest to see if it helps us out a little bit more this year. And as I was mentioning in the comments, it does. it is a good mechanism for everyone to kind of relocate to the closest job twice a year. So it's been kind of a... Uh, a, a nice tool to use. We talked about that many episodes ago, how that seemed to be the effect that was going on. Um, you guys are still at this point. All right, so I guess kick the speed up. I don't see any other fires that are... Now, you can stop making empty, and let's see if they'll fill them. Right there. So that did help. And we have someone right there ready to ready to fill them. So, interesting. You? No. But you, and you're putting in grass. Okay. So, that did seem to help. Messenger from Dukachi. Right there. You buy charcoal. $35.95 deal. You buy shoes, town storage of 1,000, and we have 1,000. So let's sell 900. Leaves 100. Deal. Um, shoes, wheat, buckwheat, charcoal, chicken, eggs, sunflower oil. Now, I thought that you guys had processed some sunflower. You did. Not much. It was 190. So, I'll turn on one worker for a little while. That's not going to last long. We do have sunflowers now. You're sunflowers, right? Yeah, so you'll get taken care of. You are ready to be re refilled. Nope, right there. And they're doing them. We had to force them to be emptied. Otherwise, 
they are doing it. So you really make empty. Let's see if that helps. I'll leave this on, see if a face pops into there. But yeah, they are just they're really attracted to that. Of course, I, I gave them a pay raise, but I'd given them a pay raise before up to 120% and nobody even lifted a finger. So that wasn't a thing there. Um, died of old age, Frosnia. You were here. Frosina, Frosina. Um, you're over here somewhere. You look new. There you are. Personal log. <clears throat> wow, I fired you a lot. <laughs> Market stall, shoemaker. Shoemaker, weaver, weaver, market stall, shoemaker, market stall, chicken coop, tailors, workshop, shoemaker, farm, orchard, shoemakers, shoemakers, salary, season ended. You finished your duty, and then you died. Interesting. That was here where she worked. Oh, shoemaker? Shoemaker. I th Wait, did I see salary or shoemaker? Because there's nobody employed there. All right, there. Personal log. Salary. July of 33. None. I, okay. I, don't question it. Just, just keep going. Um... <laughs> Okay, we have 150 over here. Did that happen over there? Did not. So we are still making empty and no one's biting it, biting the bait over here. Okay. You. So the idea that the farm worker would work with the hay was, was wrong. Okay. And I've never had more than one cart or a cow shed worker to test the theory over here. But I thought in that first series that I created of this game, family settled in, great, um, that the cow shed worker had left and went straight over to work on one of these on that series. So maybe I'm remembering that wrong, or maybe that is a thing, and we just don't have enough people employed there to spare one. Um, we are making cherries? That was cherries, right? Can I still click? There you are, cherry tree. Okay. The few that we have left. This should be being torn down. No, we're going to work on that and get that going. Okay. And we have brought everything but the thatch over. All right, that's fine. All right, so harvest is coming up. A comment came in questioning whether or not the farm workers will harvest a crop that then needs to be threshed. I don't know why there would be a difference between like a potato and a hemp. Well, hemp probably isn't one, but wheat definitely is, something with a seed. So the buckwheat, the, the, the sunflower, what have you. So this, this uh, season we'll take a peek at that and see if we can determine if that really is a thing. Though I don't know how it would help or hurt in that there's going to be random crops of whether or not it's going to be potato or it's going to be buckwheat or what have you so there's no way to predict that or alter that from season to season um you guys are putting this one in see if you can get done before most of you get fired you got three over there working fourth one it's just sitting so three over here working And what other fires are going on? We could... Hire you back up for afterward. It's going to automatically switch back down to one. Boom. Well, that hit really quick. Just so that they continue working over there. And it'll give more opportunity for people to readjust to other employment once everyone has been 
laid off and then, then started up again. It doesn't look like we're going to get done. You are only there and we've got days left. So that's going to be finished afterward. Our two traders came in and left. Nice. And, oh, there's something else that came up. Um, I had talked about putting in the smeltery that I kept calling the smithy last time. You are here, right into a position over... Ah, over here that I see I have now since put charcoal in the way. Yeah, but <clears throat> the problem was that while I figured that fishing could happen on both sides, they can't deliver the fishing boats to that fishery there by doing that. Can I actually get over here somewhere? I can get right there. But that takes away a lot of their fishing zone too. So this really just needs to go away and not uh, not be put in there. So August has happened. I'll run it slow so we can investigate. But we could put fishing out over here instead. So we've got the two over here. We could pop one here and one here when we start living in this area. So I'm not going to get too aggressive with, with a neighborhood out over here to supply all this. This is just a beginning. There's going to be a lot more people around here. we got a main pathway over here where I never noticed that. You can see the entry point. If you're holding an object to be placed. Interesting. Um, you're done. Um, so, yeah, more houses, more neighborhoods over here. A bridge through. There's a lot more going to happen. So I don't need to try to get every house, every person who's going to ever work in this area living over here. So that's just to get us going. Um, take you off. Deal with you real quick. Stop that. You are calling for one laborer right now. So where are all of you? You're all still coming to work. Okay. We are ripening. We're not really there yet. Okay. So speed you up. And <clears throat> we should have five and we don't. So and a lot of people have been high, you know, laid off for this month. So they've all gone home. They've all thought about things and then they're going to be coming back. Harvesting has begun. So you are working in a field. And that field is hemp. So we'll see what happens when we get to wheat. You are going to work, and you work in a field of buckwheat, which has to be threshed. So the farm workers will work in a field of something that has to be threshed. Buckwheat, buckwheat. Why do we have two... Oh, I thought I was looking at this. I thought I was like, why is there two stacks of buckwheat in there? But they're going to bring that back in. We'll see that there's two different kinds of buckwheat. The kind that that is ready to be used and the kind that is needing to be threshed. Or, you know, the harvest. So these workers are definitely clearing out crops that still need to be threshed. So there is an advantage to hiring farm workers when you can't get enough of the... Uh, of the laborers out there to do the work. The farm workers do do the work. Okay, so we're working out over here. Taking this one down. So you've got... I've limited you to seven workers. I'm not limiting you at all. I'll be lucky to get seven out here. Could we do this with five? And would it make a difference? Let's find out. Let's take you this farm here. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, seven. It's interesting. There's eight spaces. Well, I've limited it. But if I take you down to five, now we're showing six. Maybe maybe one's out the door soon or something. But so six spaces. Can <clears throat> you guys get the job done with five or six? And will any more? then move over here or will they not just because of the distance they're available someone else also mentioned that they typically go 200 percent 
to make sure that it happens and that if you get up into those you know more extreme pays they will overcome the the distance issue of living too far away so there is a second experiment we can be running right now and see how that works we are running fast um, we have plenty to harvest what's going on everybody had to go home so we got half a field done and they all said oh I, I, I need some lunch and off they went okay so they're coming back um, someone's coming back all right there you are and you so you are now going back out to your threshing harvest your threshing harvest interesting so these ladies now are threshing instead of clearing so they would bring in who are you you are right there so they did bring in a run and now they're going to get to work threshing aha uh -huh. so there's a limitation to what they can do threshing harvest messenger from Barvinka Bay um, did we ever finish working through Dracachi? I don't think we did yeah that's kind of gone now anyway so you guys are now threshing harvest now you're working on the field because there's nothing left inside to thresh so now you're gonna go bring some more in hmm I would think prioritize gathering would be the kind of mechanism that would override that don't go threshing but prioritize gathering the harvest doesn't that make sense that feels a little broken so they do both they harvest and then they thresh it whereas these guys only harvest it but I can't get them in we got three in at 120 percent and now we've got two in and interesting there's three so the 120 percent had about the same success as the 200 percent we'll sit here for a little bit to the end of of that month oh you went away well you didn't go away the one sitting over here went away gathering harvest from the field and then you're done then you're out of here you are still working you're still getting here okay these ladies are taking a rest working on a field she's still in there taking a rest going to work and taking a rest yeah okay so don't know if we're gonna get the buckwheat done I wonder if it takes as long to harvest a field that only has half the goods in it do they skip the spaces or do they still just take the same amount of time to work their way through even though they're not picking up anything in half those spaces I don't know <laughs> but only five workers over here did not bring in the harvest okay so we clearly do not have enough workers to pull this off um, so in that case let's before that triggers and makes everybody reset themselves let's go ahead and continue until September and we'll do this as well until September and this one too um, tell you what for now we may as well just do that again okay until September um, lime works you guys just kind of kept on going guess I don't really have that set up for here March August September over here there's only one I'm not gonna worry about him and there's no one hired for there so where do I glean workers for one more round by this time next year we should have a few more houses down there cart sheds you know we could do that we really could we could do the same sort of thing mmm How about just there? I'm, I'm debating. Will they just end up being a bunch of laborers and now not using their carts to move the same amount of stuff? Oh, that I don't know. We'll leave that for there, for now. Okay, so you guys apparently have been... It takes two to even make it work, so five and two is what we've been doing there. Okay. 
So that's fine. We need somebody there to take care of the oxen. I don't know how what happens if we were to take two months off with nobody there. That could be bad. So same thing here, two and five. Two and zero. Right there and there. Okay. These I want continuing to run. These are now still doing the same as they were doing. So we're just limping along in that one house. All right, so what happened over here? Now we got another person in. And we do need to get this finished. This really has taken a lot of time. Why is that? It's just because we limited it down. And Prioritize Gathering is, is was still checked. Let's get rid of that. And let's take you back up to the seven or so. Okay. That should fill almost immediately. Got four down here. And this is pretty much done. Workers are threshing. Yep, yeah, that one is unfortunate. That they would take the time to thresh now. That feels like a mistake. That should be overrided. Overrode by prioritize gathering. I think that should. Not just bringing the stuff in from the field, but processing it at all. So threshing, threshing, going to work, and going to work. Okay. So what else is happening around here then? While this is all happening, you are turned off. This house is slowly getting there. You guys. September. So you are year two, but I'm pretty sure that you were not ready yet. We did not see blooms. You should be year two by now. So all of you should be employable by next year. So let's make that happen. This is going to take for, uh, sorry, off season we, we did for these. I'm thinking three for this one. Hmm. No, let's make you two. You're not that big. One will definitely be able to do these. Off season one and off season one. For those who've missed that episode, rather than uncheck everything and just check July, I just reversed it. All right, so that is that. And now that we've got a few more workers, another couple weeks was all that was needed to to go through and, and finish this off, so that's fine. Okay. Um, we're mostly through here. Who's doing the work? Selling garden produce. Selling garden produce. Threshing, taking a rest, taking a rest. And hiring. Someone has walked away from this one. Okay. So we'll see if that, if they return or not. Um, I could boost that one up as well, but... I think the 200 is just too much. We'll do the 150. And curious. Oops. We'll just see if those can if those fill up again or not. Okay, so you are still just chopping away at firewood or what have you. Kind of in limbo at the moment. You live where? You're right here. So that's perfect. Okay, September. Going to work. Threshing. So let's see what you do when you go to work. There is still 200 and some to be threshed. So that's what you are doing. Okay, threshing. Taking a rest. Going to work. Let's we'll see what you do. Once these are wiped out. How we get this one to do too? So now I see what you were mentioning in the comments about that. They they do both, but they do prioritize this work over and above this work. And that is unfortunate. So we really do need laborers to bring in the majority of the, uh, of the crops, at least to finish the fields. They will help start the field until they have something to do. Okay. Um... Three people back in, same as we had with 120% wages. Four people in, same as we had with the 200% wages. So 
I could probably take it to 500 and we'd still... Okay. Let's just put my money where my mouth is for a little while. What is the max? 500. Well, that's where I stopped. At 500% of 500 of wages, will these fire off and everybody quit their jobs in town and come rushing out here like a gold rush? I have a feeling that no matter how much more you offer in payment, distance overrides a lot. They're going away, some are coming back. If this filled up, I would know the 500 meant something, but if it doesn't, then you know, we've, we've had a full week since I did that. And nothing. Okay, so it isn't a magic number of so much pay overrides distance or any other factor involved. Or we would have seen that start to fill all through here as everybody who lives over here would be jumping at the uh, at the wages. Okay, so take you back down. Can I just hold you? I cannot. So take you back down to 120 where I originally had you. It had the same effect. We just spent a fortune on wages. <laughs> 120 has the same effect as, as the others. Okay. So let's tell you guys are back. You're back. Everybody has been rehired. They're, they've all jumped into the jobs that are closest to their homes. These guys all jumped in. And unfortunately, I can't tell where they live without clicking on each one. Um, what was I about to do? Yeah, I distracted myself by doing two things at once. Um, 120 wages and... Yep. Yeah, I'll figure it out when I edit. But for now... That, that that brain cell died. <laughs> okay. Building that house, tearing that down. And I don't need to immediately get into the thatchery. We do have 2,000 thatch. Right there. So we're fine. So move into the... More houses. So thatchery can kick over there. We've got this house going on. We've got this house going on. You are the Ashery. That can wait. And this house will be next. And if possible, this one. Now, I was kicking around filling in the last little void right here. So I think I will do that. You. There. F1. Uh, another house. New family settling in our town. Great. You. Do what? I'm not sure. I wanted this to kind of drop in. Uh, move you back. Okay. Into the roadway that's going to come up through here. And you are a granary. Was I going to put two small granaries in there, though? That's a good question. Got the new dairy over here. And... Will they be needed? I just don't know. That's where they would naturally go. What if I put one in there? What if you go away? And give me a small granary. What's that look like? So if you dropped into this space here. Like that. Hmm. I think that would work. We'll just set you there. Okay. So you're going there. And we're going to get a house. And put you in. Like over here somewhere. Right there. And... Could go out to like this. This is the pathway up through. You go where though? Do you go here? Or do I lose a little bit of a triangle and get you a little bigger? I think I do. Because this road I do want to curve. But... Doesn't make much sense there. If I do that, is there any other way to recoup that? Probably isn't. So pathway comes up. The thought was to put a couple more houses right here in the back of all this. I'm kind of questioning that now. I could do that and just be done with you. Place is occupied. 
Wow, snipped you just a touch right there. One giant house? Actually, it doesn't look that giant now that I'm looking at it. Okay, one house. We'll do that. 14 trees. <laughs> a lot's got to come down. Any reason to leave access through there? I don't think so. If you were to go there and you were to come back, I can make a nice straight line there. hate losing that. But the road's here. The road's here. And this is just... Green belt, I guess. Alright. You're there. You're going to be a long time before all those trees are gone. Drop you in here somewhere. Okay, so what was that last message? That was a messenger. Ah, okay. And drop into here. That was you again. And you're 13 more days. Um, kind of no and no. Yeah, we've got nothing left in town for that. And we do have flour, though. We could do that. We can do like 700. Well, 800 now. We keep making it. Sell 800. And grab the river trader over here. And put potato. No, flour. Flour. I saw potato and I saw flour. And that. Yep. Yeah, 800. All right. Temporary. And I did get that right, right? 800 flour. Yep. Okay. So that is done. Look at all the rowboats out here doing their thing, trying to find a place to click. All right. So what happened here? You did rehire three. And you guys theoretically are taking down trees. Taking down trees means trees out in this area. You guys rehired a full complement. You guys rehired a full complement. Okay. And we're still trying to make this work. We've still got two ladies over here willing to work on it. October is about done. And... Yeah, there's nothing I can right-click, left-click, nothing I can do to say knock that off until afterward. So... We're just not going to bring in much in the way of buckwheat over here. Okay. It is what it is. Alright, so I'm curious how quickly... These got planted very quickly. They did. Why is that? Were you doing that instead of... Well, you don't really have any firewood to chop. That's just it. We, Unless I keep building... You know, spam the whole place with a whole bunch of warehouses to keep adding more firewood to. We're only going to chop it as fast as we need it to go into places like this. So you... Five workers. And they, they have been doing it. There's firewood in there. Um, the rest of it's all going to be over here. And someone did come over here and get to work. Interesting. So have we moved firewood into this area? Charcoal and lime. So this is where we could put firewood. Now, of course, we're making it over here, but that's logs. We're using it up as fast as we make it. Ah. So there is value in that. Do I want to share? I can see these guys. We just leave them alone. They can eventually build up the 10,000 over here. And then we've got it available for row houses later without having to wait for it to be made. Okay. So firewood comes out of here. You're bringing it by hand. Okay. Um, there was talk of, and I, I, I know that, but I just never got around to doing it. We do need a cart shed out over here. And that would help this. These guys, I don't want to say laborer by cart only. It is annoying that in some cases the women are, are bringing everything over by hand, 50 or whatever at a time, but still it's, it's some of the jobs that are available. Otherwise, once all the men get hired up, for other jobs like these, these just sit stagnant. We saw that one up there. Episode after episode, nobody delivering to this one. 
until I realized it was delivered by cart only. So they are needed to fill in all these little voids, and it does bring income into those houses as, as laborers. Um, let's just get a bigger supply of firewood out here, and then we can hopefully short circuit that. We'll see. Let's see how that works. So I'm, just, I'm debating right now whether to put it here in front or it goes off into the side over here or just what. Cart shed, I think, goes right here. Cart parking. There you are. Goes over here. And exactly where... Why? It can go anywhere. It's not yelling at it. And we can tighten up a road with it if we wanted to. Which means it would be good to put it in a place like this. Okay, that tightens up that extra path that they're making right there. Okay. So you're going to go... Although I just built it in front of my pathway here, didn't I? They come out the door and go there. They do. Okay. Nope. And quickly grab you. Woohoohoo! Made it. Okay, fade away. There you go. So off to this side. Like so. Into there and make them... Make them keep this road tight over here. Okay. So you could be a lot sooner. You could be after those first two houses on the other side, which is actually right there. And a warehouse over here. Or two. This might be a place that's worth having the the carters bring firewood over big time from the other two places and fill this up. If we can make that more of a routine thing. Um... The pattern has been to put it right back behind up this pathway, and I kind of like that pattern. So if you were to go there, click over one, and let's parallel you out a little bit better. Something like that in here. And we need to take these trees down anyway, and we just happen to have a crew ready to take the trees down. Yeah, they're, they're doing their thing. So you are right there. You move in to the very next tree to be taken down. Let's get that guy built and get that brought in. Do we want another one, though? I think I want another one right over here. So grab you, though I do want a pathway in between. Uh, R and T. Nope, wrong one. There you are. So a pathway in between, so you can go here. And you can kick that road down a little bit as well. You do that. Eventually we're going to be wying off and going over to here. This is going to be an intersection. And forced demolition is done. Great. So let's kick you down force that road straight just a little bit longer before you start to make your curve. Okay, and you probably don't have to be quite as fast. We'll get you into there somewhere. Okay, so forestry has been taken down. All of the charcoal burners have been taken down, charcoal piles. So what else goes in here? I don't know. More of a public building? Like these? Don't know. So be thinking about that. You can go away. Okay. We are still in October. We can kick the speed up a bit. You are still Barvinkove. And we've gotten some out of here. You field. There we are. So, yeah, until... Although we are basically done. Harvest... Buckwheat harvest is it. 80. So it's just a matter of these ladies all coming back to work one more time. So you and you going to work. You will... Unless you're the one doing those, those 30, you will probably head to the field and start emptying. Yeah, working on a field. Okay. So you will do some more in here. The other two coming to work will do some over here. And then October will be over. They may get halfway through. Okay. Alright, so in that case, click somewhere. Okay. So you, you, and you. And you are that one. So you are next. 
and there's still one tree left over there. All right, so we, you're next. We're working on you. There's five. Let's kick the builders up a bit. Can we get a full compliment again? Do these guys exist? You say no. You say yes. There's actually two looking for work. Okay. So auto saved. Where am I now? 55 minutes. <clears throat> I'm kicking around doing two hour episodes. This one hour limit is... <laughs> of course, that, that then makes it almost impossible to find enough time to... Uh, to edit it and get it uploaded so it's not it's not a possible thing but yeah i wish these episodes i wish i could spend more time playing this map I really do whether i'm going fast or slow doesn't matter the time that i'm in here is enjoyable so you guys did sell off all of your goods we have taken care of most everything there now these guys are set to go and collect everything from the other ones and beetroots look like they may be a casualty of that but there aren't really that many i mean they're starting to go down and in, in their you know their spoilage but eh, we'll lose a little bit beetroots in general and we're just finishing october there beetroots in general just out of curiosity now, the perish rate is almost zero. It's like they do manage to get sold in time before it's all said and done. Okay. Uh, cabbage, same thing. We had one bad year over here and there, but nothing since. So everything does get bought out eventually. We're not really wasting anything. Good. Halfway done over here. And threshing, taking a rest, getting drink of water, which means taking a rest and taking a rest. So everyone's kind of done. And a couple are going to come back and work on these. The rest will come back and work on more of those. So I think they'll just continue that pattern until snow hits the ground. And that will be done. We no longer have any trades we're worried about. And I don't think there are any other fires going on. We're not doing any more cattle yet. You are ready to do it, though. Okay. So, in that case, let's fire you back up, which means what? Enable and plus. So, one person in there, <clears throat> one will be enough, and one person in here is already here. You can handle two cows. So, when that job hires, and that's really an if, because there were two available, and I put two back in here, and those two went in there. So, there may not be another... Another man in here anywhere. No. So I would need to eliminate one job there. Supplying, getting, taking a rest. Okay. You take a rest, you get fired in this, this town. Um, you're hired, and let's just bring two cows out. We have a six-year-old bull. We have a two-year-old ox. We have a one-year-old bull. Let's slaughter the six-year-old bull and one of the five-year-old cows that will make two rounds of 100 so 200 one person can handle all that and we're good so over here taylor's workshop we are still making lots of stuff we have lots of hemp now two people come back in for the on season and that is there i think so Okay, you, same thing, right there. And nobody works here. You have now got work to do. Okay, so one person on season, off, and we'll, do we put two in there? I don't think we put two in there. We put just one in there. Did you get hired? You did not. You are men also, right? Yeah, you are direct competition. All right, so that means one more has to come out of here. Who's taking a rest? Yeah, yeah. Uh, getting a drink of water. Yeah, yeah, you blew it, dude. The cows are coming home. Cow parade. Look at that. <laughs> That's cool. And on that, I think I'm going to call this one done. Thanks for watching, folks, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye now.